slight movement. Okay, give it a rock. And that is the noise of those two bushes there. Probably can't see them now. These teams look nice, don't they? Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. So the lateral movement is coming from the spherical bushing on the front lower and as you can see by my gorgeous assistant wobbling the wheel Don't be too technical, there's people like me that have to do this It's, this one is rocking So it's, that one's a spherical The top one up here is a spherical that's the bush for the damper, that's the towing link, and that's, me and that's the, the other link, and none of those are knocking, it's only the spherical, which is the bottom. Which you can see, but we'll replace the top, the top bush and the bottom bush. Can we put it somewhere where people aren't going to pick up on the fact that you need to hoover your carpet? So I'm holding these out because Dave's carpet is absolutely disgusting. Um, 27AL blue is what we're going to be fitting today. Okay! <laughs> You've got a saggy head. <laughs> Got too busy watching them. Should I have to take a minute? It's difficult, isn't it? Pressing buttons. Turn it over. Turn it around. Yep. Roll your bushes around in your hands. Oh, Show lovely. me the difference. Oh, lovely. bushes. Sideways on. So left is the original spherical and the right is the poly bush. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully now you know how to lift the back of your car up, check for your rear bushes and identify which ones the problems are. Um, it's not a difficult job to change. Um, I'm, and probably down the line I'll be changing mine next. Uh, so come back and watch that video when I do it. Um, and I'll be using the tool that I designed to make it, which, you know, it's not difficult. It's not a difficult job to take the bush out of the car. You use the cup and the, the pusher and the receiver. Put that on the end of the bush and push it out of the housing and into there. Job done. Now to push the new bush back in, you side that into the edge of the, the hole in the arm, put the bush on it like that and then use the cup to screw it in until it hits that face. Then unscrew it, put it over that side and then that will pull it into the last little bit so that it's flush on the face. The reason I made a washer as well is so that when you're, you've got that in that position, the washer goes over the end of it to line it all up so that you can pull in like that. So yeah, hope that helps. Um, check your bushes, they, they tend to fail around about 35,000 miles uh, and then you'll hear like a knocking and you'll, well you can see from the video and then just change them.